Hey, everybody. Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, do I have an awesome guitar for you today. What we have today is a 1973 Tele Deluxe. Now, this is the one that has the wide range humbuckers. It doesn't have the standard uh, Tele uh, single coils. This has the wide range uh, humbuckers. Now, this particular guitar we got uh, as a project, okay? So it does not have all original parts. I want to stay that right up front. However, the important stuff that you want to have on this guitar is original. What we got was uh, this fantastic Tele neck, which, oh, it just, it plays itself. This thing is so, so nice. Uh, the neck, we got the uh, uh, body, we got the uh, neck plate, we got the bridge. Uh, I think that's all the parts that we got. Yes, and everything else uh, we added to the guitar. Oh, and the tuners and the tuner grommets, of course, uh, were with us as well. So what we had to do is pull together some parts and for those of you that know Tele Deluxe's wide range, the old wide range pickups are impossible to find. They're just, they're impossible. And if you do find them, they're going to cost you <laughs> a, a ton. So we said, all right, how about we do this? I want to get this guitar together. And so what we did is we were uh, able to uh, uh, arrange for a set of the Lawler wide range pickups, which I think are absolutely the closest to uh, what the old Fender wide range pickups were. They had some special magnets in them and Lawler says, we can do them just like those. And it's like, I have to say, I played the old wide range. I've had uh, old Tele Deluxes, and I know how those pickups sound, and they're great. Can I say that maybe the Lawler's even a little better? I mean, I've been playing this guitar, and it just sounds unbelievable. It just, it just sounds great. Now, from there, what we did is we put together some parts. It took me about three tries to find the right pick guard, uh, one that we didn't have to redo holes. There's a group out there, I forget who they are, but they built some beautiful, beautiful pick guards, and uh, the holes were perfect. Uh, we didn't have to move anything. I had to shave just a little bit on the neck, uh, around the neck right here to make it align just perfectly, but there is no extra screw holes in this guitar, which you do not want to have when you pull that pick guard off. So we got the right pick guard on it. We mentioned the uh, uh, Lawler wide range and then I had Jeff the tech go through it and re, uh, put in uh, CTS pots uh, he put in the right uh, um, uh, uh, caps that uh, that you'd probably want to see in a guitar like this switchcraft uh, input jack uh, a fender uh, um, pick uh, pickup selector and what else did we do and I think that's all he did except set it up the nut was already on it uh, frets uh, were fine. He crowned them just a little bit. And oh, and then uh, the knobs. The knobs uh, I found uh, somewhere. And what I thought was cool was they're old knobs, but they don't match. <laughs> and I know there's some uh, guitars out there that guys play uh, like these that they don't have matching knobs. I thought, well, okay, that's kind of cool. So we have old knobs that I uh, pulled together, but they don't match. These two are the same, and these two are the same. Uh, and then he did uh, put in a new uh, input jack, and that's about it. So no real buckle rash on the back. I mean, there's, you know, there's some wear on it, of course, and what I would call maybe some, not really rash, but kind of like uh, indentations. But this neck, oh my goodness, this neck is just outstanding. Uh, and it's had some war wound, wounds on it, of course. You know, the guitar has been around since 73, but my goodness, how great is this guitar? <laughs> I'll tell you, that neck pickup, I can always tell a guitar by the neck pickup, as I've told you uh, over how many guitars now. I always listen to the neck pickup, and if the neck pickup gets me, the guitar's going to get me, okay? Because I just, I love the neck position. If I was playing uh, somewhere, I'd probably just stay on the neck all night. That's just how my ear hears guitars, and this neck pickup is just outstanding. <laughs>
know, the frets are a little low on this. This, this guitar uh, has been played. Uh, does it need a refret? Mm, no, I mean, I would not refret it. I just play it like this until I was done. But uh, if you're going to play it uh, professionally, someone, uh, some pro play player out there may play it for a while and decide it needs frets. So I just want to let you know, the frets are worn, okay? It's got the 21 fret neck. It's 25 and a half scale, which is what you want to have on your, on your telly necks. Let's hear how it sounds blending these two pickups together. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, let's go all the way back where we always want to hear our telly. this guitar sustains man that note is still ringing out What a cool guitar. I can't say enough about this guitar. It is absolutely beautiful. It's one that I would keep myself, but you know what? I, I have so many guitars, I can't keep them all. Love, love, love Tele Deluxes. Now, we did not have an original case with it. I didn't get the original case, so unfortunately not. However, I got this really, really cool case that I've been waiting for the right guitar to come. It fits both a Strat and a Tele. And uh, it's just, it's a brand new case. It's kind of like the thermometer cases that uh, uh, we all saw in the uh, 50s. And I thought, well, that's kind of cool. And it had this really neat brown, kind of vintage looking brown, uh, plus a leather handle. I mean, it's a very expensive case. And then, uh, how is it, why is it not opening up here? There we go. So then we open it up, it's like, whoa, check it out. It's got this really quilted gold uh, material in there that's really nice and plushy. I mean, this stuff is just awesome. And you lay that uh, mocha color guitar down in this case and it's just like, whoa, it just looks fantastic. Uh, it's really cool accessory box. Of course, we got case keys in there. Uh, it's brand new. So uh, you're getting a 1973 guitar with a brand new case, but what a case it is. So check it out. I got this really great 1973 Tele Deluxe with an awesome, awesome case with the Lawler wide range pickups. And you know what? Uh, for those of you who uh, might be considering this guitar, uh, uh, check those pickups out before you go, oh, it doesn't have the Fender pickups. I, yeah, it does not. However, you're going to be really happy with those pickups while you're waiting to find some wide range for them. So check in on all our really cool guitars out at WWW Lawman Guitars, where we only sell really cool guitars. And hey, I really appreciate you watching my demo. While you're there on YouTube, just hit subscribe. That little button's right there. Just hit it, and you will always see these demos. I mean, we have tons of demos out there, and we do five of them every month. So uh, we're just getting started here uh, today with the first one, but we got four more coming. And uh, if you hit subscribe, you'll hit see them next uh, uh, next week when all these things hit. And uh, you can just, uh, the month after that, you'll see more. So hit subscribe. And hey, I appreciate you all watching my demos. Thanks a lot.